Hello everyone, I am Satya Kumar. Welcome to my life page. Today I am going to talk to you about Himalayan wildlife ecology and conservation. But before that, I would like to introduce myself. I have a bachelor's in zoology from Vivekananda College, University of Madras, and then a master's in wildlife biology from AVC College, Mailadudrai, Bharati Dasan University, and then a PhD in wildlife science at the Wildlife Institute of India awarded by Saurashtra University. So today my research projects range throughout the Indian Himalaya and I'm looking at emerging topics that are of great importance like uh, human wildlife conflicts and also looking at climate change uh, in the Indian Himalayan region and how it is going to affect flora and fauna and the habitats and also the people who are living in the mountains. The subject of studying the flora and fauna of high mountain systems is called high altitude ecology. In India, we have two major mountain systems. One is the Himalayan and the other is the Western Ghat mountain system. In the Himalayan region, we say high altitude ecology when you're talking about areas which are more than 3000 meters elevation, that is 10,000 feet and above. The areas that are 3000 meters or about 10,000 feet and above are unique in the sense that there is very less vegetation and you have alpine pastures or rangelands, alpine scrub, and then you have moraine glaciers and perpetual snow areas. And a, a very rich and diverse gamut of flora and fauna exist in these areas, which are very specially adapted to high altitude conditions. So trying to understand these species and trying to conserve them is of extreme importance because there are many challenges for these flora and fauna in the high mountains. Poaching, habitat degradation, habitat loss, habitat fragmentation, retaliatory killings of animals that are involved in conflicts, as well as emerging threats of climate change. Basic degree in biological sciences that would include zoology, botany, or uh, environmental sciences, wildlife sciences, one should be very good in the subject zoology. So if you start have a basic degree in zoology, which is the study of animals, uh, it would be extremely useful to pursue a career in high altitude ecology. You should have a passion for working in the high altitudes or passion for the mountains. Without this, please don't even think of coming into this area. The most important thing is passion, that is, you should love the mountains that if you want to work in these areas. Being in the mountain is a blessing. Uh, being in the mountain would mean that you are uniquely placed to be in such a system that is very different from other systems. Some of the times I've seen you might trek for days together and uh, with a pumping heart and lungs when you're really tired the award for you is when you stand on top of the hill, the scenery that you would see is really unmatched. But in the Himalaya, one needs to remember that animals all don't occur in such large numbers in a given place. So you might walk for several hours or several days even, but still not get visual encounters in good numbers of species because of the behavior of the animals. They generally occur in low densities and they uh, occur in such areas where you cannot go and see them very easily. So one needs to bear this in mind that you will get good data, but not in very good quantities. So defending a paper or your thesis with such limited data set is a challenge. At least three to four months in, in a year I spend in the field, which is traveling to the mountains where my research projects are uh, currently undergoing. So that would mean that we go to the nearest motorable point and then from that base camp, trek up to the study sites and uh, along with the research students and scholars and then find out uh, what work is happening there and uh, try and understand the field situations and uh, uh, look at how things are happening in the field and uh, get a new understanding of how things are going on in the area and then uh, discuss with the colleagues and find out. So it would mean that 
we would trek for long distances from lower elevation to higher elevation and then uh, camp in the high altitudes uh, in tents and then keep moving. So typically a field trip would mean 7 to 10 days nowadays uh, at this level but uh, we spend at least that much time in the mountains moving with our research team and trying to see how things are happening there and whether the project is moving as per its uh, objectives or not and then if there are any problems we try and rectify it uh, it be deploying a camera trap or uh, trying to look at science surveys or trying to look at habitat evaluation and so on and also meet the wildlife staff or forest officials there and uh, update them about what we are doing there. I hope I have given you a complete overview of high altitude ecology or the Himalayan wildlife ecology and conservation. Thank you very much.